Alright guys, we are in the trailer home because that's where we're staying but we are leaving because it gets pretty bad. We're expecting a hurricane and this place, if it gets pretty bad, it won't. It's not going to be good. So we are still in the trailer. For some reason, we have not left. But Sally is now a category two. It's four. It's gonna. I don't know what time it is. It might be four p.m. I don't know what time it is. All right, guys. So we are headed to a hotel because we were staying in that thing, and it keeps swaying, keeps moving. The winds are very, very strong and it's only the beginning. This is how the sky looks right now. So hopefully we'll be safe where we're going. Um, I'll keep you updated on everything that um, happens. All right guys, so before we head out to the hotel where we're staying at, we decided we had to eat before. So we came to this Chinese or this Asian buffet. I don't know what it's, if it's Chinese or not. Um, I'll show you what I'm eating. This is my food. It is so good guys, so good. All right, so this is where we are staying until it's safe to go back to the trailer you can see that the winds are already picking up and the hurricane's not even here yet you guys so a lot of people would think it's weird to share a room with your in-laws <laughs> but we are sharing a room and <laughs> I think I think I'm very comfortable sharing a room. That's Josh and Doug. Oh no, we're right by the pool. So this guy barely came back from where that news reporter is he went and tried to be like Moses and split the sea he got very wet I saved his recordings and I will be sharing them thank god he saved I almost stayed a widow it's gone that is how close the water is now sand is completely gone. This is insane. Wow. how it looks like now compared to 
last night. It is so windy out. Um, there's so much water on the floor. And I wanted to show you because this is my first hurricane. We might be without power. So I probably won't be able to vlog and record everything. But I wanted to show you firsthand. Um, because it's my first time going through something like this. So. It is now 2.24 p.m. and there is water inside the hotel now all over the entrance. Um, We just got told that we can't leave the hotel anymore because the hurricane is going to hit in the morning. That's just the beginning, guys. Like the rings, the outer rings. So, yeah. So, that is our hotel window, and it keeps getting slammed by wind and water. And also, our signal keeps going out. So we're, um, Josh and I are in the hotel on the bed just waiting for whatever is going to happen to happen. And it's my first hurricane, so I am a little scared to be honest because I don't know what to expect. And... It hasn't even arrived here yet and it already took off part of the roof from the hotel so it's it's a little scary also the lights um, not lights the electricity went out in two cities already so we think that we're gonna stay without electricity so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to continue to vlog but I'm gonna try until I don't have any more battery. So I'm going to, this is our hurricane food. I'm going to warm it up because it's a little bit cold. All right guys, so no, look at that. this is the first level and the water's already going inside the hotel. And it hasn't even gotten here yet. I'm, um, I am in the room. Oh, I can't keep the door open. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> some food Do you have like TV dinners? It's 10 something, 1040 something, and this is all the water on the first floor. This is where we were earlier. Oh, that's puddles of water. 
We're taking the elevator. I didn't want to take the elevator because... Huh? No. <laughs> because what if we get stuck? This um, Lean Cuisine Fettuccine Alfredo. It's frozen, so we're gonna have to make it here. And it's making really weird noises. Okay, guys, the lights went out. They're going on and off. So we got moved to the second floor. I don't know if you can see it but all of that is flooded that area it's all flooded look at that it's starting to whistle i don't know if you could see this but all of that is the ocean water <laughs> We're all by the window watching. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> okay, guys. So the lights keep going on and off. And we don't know if the, if the locks with the key work when the electricity is off. So we don't know what to do. Like, do we keep the door open? How, I don't even know how to unlock it. But... We're pretty sure we're going to stay um, without electricity, so... I cannot believe I'm stuck in the middle of a hurricane. <laughs> okay guys, so it just upgraded to a category 2 hurricane. And I made sure that I brushed my teeth and washed my face. And also, I built a little fortress because we're sleeping by the window. I'll show you guys what I built. See that little thing right there? Just in case something tries to fly in through those windows while we're sleeping. I don't think we're going to sleep, but I'm protecting myself. All right. So the lights finally went out in the hotel. <sighs> you can't see anything. The winds got really strong and we're out of light. All right, guys, these are the emergency lights that just went on. Everything else is off. It's pretty scary. Can you can you guys hear that? All right, guys. We are in pitch dark black room. The wind is so eerie. I've never seen or heard anything like this before. All right, guys, so it is almost five and today is Wednesday, the day after, or the day that Sally hit because it was this um, morning, early morning. Um, we still don't have electricity. We don't have um, cell phone lines that work so i can't communicate with my husband he went to check out the rv park and he went to try to go find food um because we don't have food in the hotel um we have water thank god we have water and i just finished showering with really really cold water i can feel my nose um feels really weird because the water was so cold but I wanted to shower before um, the sun went down because then it'll be super dark and it'll be even colder um, so 
that's the update the winds are going back to normal they're kind of strong just like really windy kind of like santa ana winds if you've ever lived in california um but it's not like hurricane weather anymore it's just um cloudy it's a little windy and thank god we we just we made it through you know so i decided to read the scripture while I'm waiting for Josh and his parents to come back to the hotel. They went to find food. Um, so they found, the only place they found opened was Bucky's. So they got um, a hot dog for me. But I wanted to share something that I found um, really interesting while I was reading. I'm reading the book of Psalms. I already read um, a couple of chapters, but I wanted to go back and read um, a little, not read, but just share um, something that I found interesting in Psalm 77. David is crying out for help and he's crying out to God so that God can hear him. And as he is crying out to God, in that moment, he is also meditating on his situation. And as he meditates on his situation, listen to what I'm saying, okay? Because sometimes when we meditate and think about our situation, the same thing happens to us. When we are going through something tough, when we are going through something rough, and we meditate, we think about, we dwell on our situation, we grow faint. And it starts saying that as he's thinking about that, even though he is praying and crying out to God, he is also meditating on his situation and he's growing faint. And he continues on questioning God. Will God reject me forever? Will his um, will he ever show his favor again? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? He, he continues on to question God and he continues to grow faint. But the moment that he decides that he is not going to dwell on his situation or question God, the moment that he starts focusing on his power, on his goodness, on his past deeds, on everything that God had done for him in the past, on who God is, on his power, on his might, on his goodness, on his love. When he focuses, he shifts his focus from his situation, from questioning God, when he shifts his focus to God's goodness, to his love, to his power, and to his faithfulness, his um, what, his situation in his heart and in his spirit begins to change. So I want to encourage you, when you are going through something hard, through a situation that you can't understand, instead of dwelling in how you feel, instead of questioning God, instead of um, questioning His goodness, His faithfulness, I want to encourage you to focus on His goodness, on His power, on the things that He's done in the past. When you think about that, um, your heart and your spirit begin to grow stronger and stronger because you put your faith, you put your trust, you remember who God is for you. So as I'm reading this, it's ministering my heart and I just wanted to share with you what I was reading. So I hope this was a blessing to you and I hope that if you're going through something that you, you decide to not only dwell um, on his goodness, on his love, but that you decide to trust him because he's done it before and he will do it again. So I hope this blessed you and I will continue to share more of this journey of after Hurricane Sally. So I'll see you all later. I'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday because I haven't showered 
I'm on my last pair of clothes. Uh, we don't have electricity yet and Josh left like a few hours ago. Sorry, I just bit my fingers. Josh left a few hours ago to try to find food and he hasn't come back. And like, honestly, I'm like super hungry. I'm starving. Um, my stomach has been growling for a few hours. We haven't ate since yesterday. And most places are not opened. And the ones that are opened, um, you have to make really long lines. So there's no guarantee that you'll get anything. And since we don't live here, we don't know where to go. Um, they had to go all the way to Foley to find food because Gulf Shores didn't have anything. Um, so I'm going to shower before the sun goes down because then the water will be super cold. So I'll update you to see if they found something to eat. So hopefully they did. All right, so this is how I shower. I just um, sit in the tub and let the cold water run because there's no hot water. And I use that little cup to wash myself. So these are my after hurricane showers. So it's 5.35 and Josh and Corey are not back. Um, I just showered, it was so cold. And I guess I'm ready for third world countries to go preach um, because honestly, living without electricity and hot water um, you're just not used to that, you know, but I'm thankful that I can shower. I'm thankful that we found food. Josh um, called me and told me that they found a place that was open. So they're going to bring back food after a few hours of looking around. So it's like pitch black in here. You can't, I mean, the light is reflecting from my flash from this video, but this is all the food that we have. And we were so hungry. We just ate chips and leftover soda, which is like really warm now. And we are infested with ants. There's literally ants everywhere. It's so hot in here too, but at least we have something to eat. This is how dark it is, guys. Pitch black, not even kidding. I can't even see where I'm going. Um, that's how it is in the halls and everywhere in our room. It's crazy. All right, guys, this is, um, our hallway. It's pitch black. This is my light from my phone. Pitch black. I'm gonna turn off the, I'm gonna turn off the flash so you can see. How dark it is. This is how dark it is without the flash. Same hallway. This is where the tornado hit. That was a trailer right there.
and they've already cleaned some of that up. So we are back at the RV, uh, my in-laws RV where we were staying at right before Sally and they are going to um, do something with it so we can't stay here. We're gonna go to Josh's grandma's house to stay the night and to eat. We haven't eaten anything. Today is Friday. Um, we don't we don't know where we're gonna stay um, for the rest of the days, but we have to wait until um, Josh's parents fix their RV or whatever, get it ready so they can sleep there and we can sleep there. <laughs> But we're just waiting um, to go and to, I haven't eaten anything. My head hurts because it's hot and humid and I'm sweating. Apparently there's something wrong with the car that we're driving. <laughs> and they're trying to fix it. We were supposed to go eat, but now we're fixing in the car because it's broken. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, guys. So we're barely going to eat because, of, <laughs> like, like I recorded before, our car was giving us problems, and then they couldn't do anything about it today. So we're still driving around with a broken car. <laughs> And we came to um, <laughs> Taco Bell because it was open and um, we had to drive pretty far to get to Joshua's grandma's house. So we're gonna have warm water, we're gonna shower with warm water and we're gonna have food and we're gonna be safe. So it's gonna be good. <laughs> have you ever wondered what the root of a tree looks like? because this is what it looks like. So this fell, we are at um, Josh's grandma's house. It fell and they had to um, take the whole tree apart. Okay, everyone. So I forgot that I didn't update um, to finish this part of the vlog. Um, we are staying at Joshua's grandmother's house or grandparents' house. Um, and we are going to stay here until we can go back to Florida. Right now, um, we were, we were staying at our in-laws' house, um, which got water damage. So, we have to stay until they figure something out or until they can take us because they were a ride here to Alabama. So um, flying is not an option because it's really expensive for Josh and I and to um, pay for the equipment, the fees, um, so we can travel with our equipment that we brought um, to record. So that's not an option and so we have to wait until we can actually go back probably also um a lot of the roads right now are being cleared up and cleaned up um the bridges that were affected um it, like just everything's being you know cleaned up and restored after a hurricane so we don't know what's going to happen with that, but I'll keep you guys updated in other vlogs of things that we do. We might still have services. I'm not sure yet. They were postponed. But if we do have services, we'll try to record and take some pictures and share with you guys of what is happening in the ministry as well. So you also might have noticed my eyes are really red. Every time that I travel, my eyes get like that. And I read on Google that um, sometimes that can happen because of ozone changes. Changes. Ozone changes. Um, so that could be it. I don't know. But I got some eye drops for them and hopefully they get better. So yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, um, go ahead and press like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe.